Guys, I have a handful of cool cars. Okay, so why you picked this one to do first, I don't know, but this is everything that you need to know to get up to sp what? I can't say that. Copyright? Yeah. All right, so this is, I guess, the, the backstory or whatever on hashtag my $300 Prius. The story with this car starts with me being at work. This is from back when I worked at Toyota as a service advisor. I was working diligently at my desk when a note was dropped off on my desk saying whatever the guy's last name is with a phone number, status, question mark, tow in, question mark. I was like, all right, great. This is gonna be a waste of time, but let's do it. I went and found the car, got the VIN number off the car, ran the VIN number in my system. Nobody had checked it in yet. Surprise. Anybody who's been a service advisor knows that when a tow in comes in, everybody dodges it like it's the matrix. So the car hasn't been checked in yet. I don't have keys or anything. So I go to the receptionist and I say, hey, I don't know whose car this is. I don't have the keys. I didn't check it in. I don't know what's going on with it. She goes, oh, the car wash has the keys. Why does the car wash have the keys? So I go over to the car wash. I say, hey, Mike, do you know anything about a... That's all I got. That's it. That's all I could say. And he goes, oh my God, the Prius? Here, have the keys. I don't want anything to do with it. The guy towed it in on Saturday, looking to either trade it in or have it detailed so he could sell it privately. He throws me the keys and says, I don't want anything to do with it. All right, cool. Next step was going to the used car department. I said, hey, do you know anything about this Prius? He wanted to trade it in, it was towed in. And the used car manager says, I don't want anything to do with the car. He says, I don't want it. Tell the guy a hundred bucks, make him go away. He's like, I just, just make the guy go away. So I call the customer and I say, hey, I spoke to the used car department. The most he can give you for the car is a hundred bucks. Uh, it's just not worth much, you know, in the condition that it's in. So the guy says, a uh, hundred bucks is really not enough. You know, it cost me $300 to tow it there. Will anybody there give me 300 for it? And I was like, I will. So we made an agreement over the phone to sell me the car for $300. <laughs> I went on my lunch break to take 300 bucks out of the bank. By two o'clock, he was at my desk signing over the title and I had my very own Prius. So at this point, I had a Prius, but it doesn't run still. And nobody really knows why because nobody looked into it yet. So I write it up, I send it into the shop and I give it to one of the top diagnostic guys. Anybody that's worked in a shop knows every shop's got that one guy. He's an older guy. He has more tools that he made than tools that he bought. One of those guys. So I gave the car to him. I said, hey, can you look into this car? It doesn't start, but it seems to have power. So see if you can figure it out. Minutes go by, not even a full hour. He comes up to my desk and he says, hey, come take a look at this. So I walk out to the shop with him and the car is running. He said, well, the battery was good. The throttle body was stuck shut. On these cars, when you press the power button, the throttle body goes like this to, to check and make sure it's working. And it couldn't do that because it was corroded shut. So he hit the throttle body with a hammer and then the car turned on. <laughs> so then I had it detailed. I did a little bit of maintenance on it and that was that. That's a win, man, that's a win. Soon after getting it on the road, I signed it up for Uber. I didn't really do a lot of Uber because it wasn't just wasn't really worth my time. It was a lot of hours, a lot of miles and not really a lot of money. The last time I Ubered and my favorite time I Ubered was New Year's Eve for 2018. I actually fit eight girls in that car who were kind of cool and actually invited me to the party afterwards. So. In March of 2018, I took it autocrossing. I'm sure you saw that. If you haven't, you gotta click here. It's still one of my best videos. September of 2018, we went to Watkins Glen. I didn't race on the track, but I did get to drive it across the track. January of 2020, the car starts really putting in the work. We took it to Virginia to pick up the B Modster. I actually put a trailer hitch on it specifically for the B Modster. Then in February of that year, I used it to pick up the new bike with the B Monster trailer. In January of 2021, I drove it to Baltimore to pick up 10 RPF ones for me and Rad. There's a video on that, click here. In May of 2021, me and Matt took it to New Jersey with the trailer again to pick up a tire machine. What'd we do today, Matt? Uh, we made a bad decision. And a good I think decision. it's a good decision. Well, the bad decision was doing this with the Prius. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you know? There's a video for that too. In July, I bought a set of RPF ones, as you can see. I don't know why, because they were cheap and because they also fit the FRS, but they look good on the Prius. There's a video for that too. You can click right here. In August of 2021, again, there's another video for it. I trailered the VFR to get quotes for the pothole damage. Just click here. There's another video. And then in October, she hit 200,000 miles. Now she's sitting at about 201, but her story's not over. I told Matt, you guys know Matt from the V Monster videos. I told Matt, if we can hit 1,000 subscribers, first 
he wants to lower it and then take it to a track day. I'm not sure about that, but if you guys want to see that, tell me in the comments. And then we're going to hack the shit out of it. Lift it, put off-road tires on it, and take it to Roush Creek. But only going to do that if I could hit 1,000 subscribers. We're a little ways off. I got like 1,100 on, on Instagram, so there's no reason I can't get 1,000 followers here. Hit the subscribe, hit the like button, share with your friends. Let's take this thing off-road or to the track or both. There will be more videos about hashtag my $300 Prius. And I'm going to make this a series. I think next up we'll do the FRS, maybe? Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that little bell so you get a notification when a new video goes up because there are going to be a lot of videos. I'll see you guys next time.